Alright, hello everyone, it's GSTAR321 here again, and today, as you can see, I'm playing Streets of Rage 3 on the Sega Genesis slash Sega Mega Drive, also known as Bare Knuckle 3 in Japan. Now, I need to mention a few things before I start playing this game. First of all, I'm playing the Japanese ROM of this game, as opposed to the US version, because quite frankly, the US version sucks, and I'll explain why in a minute. This game was released back in 1994, and there are significant differences between the Japanese and the US version, US slash European version, okay? First and foremost, the story is different between the two versions, the visuals are different, alright? The character models, more specifically the colours of the character models are different, for example, Axel here in the Japanese version of the game, he's wearing a white tank top, whereas in the US version he's wearing a yellow tank top and it's the same for the other characters. Even the character names are different, like here in the Japanese version, Skate is not called Skate, alright, the little skate kid with the baseball cap on. He's called Sammy, but in the US version he's called Skate, okay? Just little weird sort of differences like that. But the killer difference, the most fucked up difference is, and this is the main reason why I'm not playing the US version of this game, the difficulty on the US version is fucking disgusting, okay? It is out of control. I... You know what? I'm gonna just go ahead and say something straight out here. Streets of Rage 3 is my favorite in the series. I like this better than Streets of Rage 2. It's absolutely outstanding. I love it. It is so much more refined than the previous Streets of Rage games, especially 2. I like the music in this game. You know, music's a tough one because everyone goes absolutely fucking nuts for Streets of Rage 2's music. But I really like the music in Streets of Rage 3 here. I think it almost rivals Streets of Rage 2. But gameplay wise, this one takes the cake. Now, where was I? Difficulty. My god. Thank god I'm playing the Japanese version here. And this is the translated Japanese version, by the way. So you're going to be seeing English cutscenes and all that, which is good. But. The thing is, up until a few months ago, I'd never even played Streets of Rage 3, or the first one for that matter, alright? I'd only ever played Streets of Rage 2. Now, the very first time I played Streets of Rage 3 here, I hated it. I thought it was shit compared to Streets of Rage 2, I thought it was garbage, I didn't understand it, it was... and yeah, the difficulty, I found it so fucking difficult. But the mistake I made was playing the US version. So that's my tip of sorry, that's my tip of advice. If you're playing this game for the very first time, do not, I repeat, do not play the US version of this game. It is garbage. The difficulty is too much. It's not challenging. It's just for example, let's say you come to a boss fight, okay? Now in the Japanese version here, the boss might have two full life bars. In the US version, that same boss might have six full life bars. It doesn't make it challenging, it just makes it drag out and because you're playing for such a longer time, you know, a more extended time fighting that boss and just playing the game in general, you lose concentration a bit, you start to not focus as well, and you make mistakes, and that's how you fuck up, okay? I haven't completed the US version of this game once, but the thing is, I haven't sort of 
played the US version since I started playing the Japanese version here. So I could probably get through the US version now. I'm pretty decent at the game, but let me tell you guys, just play the Japanese version. It's much better, all right? So let me go ahead and press start here. Now on this screen here, there is a bit of a secret. If you hold up and B, ah, you motherfucker. Hang on a second, press start. Hold up and B and press start like that, then you get to this screen, you will unlock an extra character to play as during the game. So, in this game we've got four players to choose from, Axel, Skate, Blaze, who are all in Streets of Rage 2, and Zan, he's a new character in Streets of Rage 3 here, he's pretty good. But by doing that, holding up and B, then pressing start, you will unlock a secret character called Rue, which is a boxing cat. Sorry, which is a boxing kangaroo, sort of like Roger from Tekken. Okay. And, yeah, the kangaroo's name is actually Victi in the Japanese version, not Ru, which is a bit weird. But anyway. Now, there's also another secret here. If you hold up and B again and press start, make sure you've highlighted battle first. Now hold up and B. Press start on option. You'll hear that sound. By doing that, you will be able to select what level you want to start playing on. There's only seven stages, and yeah, it doesn't really let you choose the seventh stage, because the seventh stage is dependent on what ending you're going to get. There's four different endings in this game. I will be going for the best ending in the game. So we'll just leave it all as per normal, difficulty level normal, three lives. We'll get plenty more as we play on. And I believe that is all I wanted to talk about for the intro. Yep, so let's just go ahead and do it. Here we go. So here we go. This is the character select screen. We've got Axel, Blaze, Sammy or Skate, Zan, the new character in Streets of Rage 3, and Victi or Rue. Okay. Zan is an interesting character to play as. He has very good reach. He's got like stretchy limbs, almost like Dalsim from Street Fighter. Not as long as Dalsim, but to try and explain how he how he rolls, he's got yeah stretchy sort of arms, so he has good reach. Um, yeah, I like him. But Skate, I'm not really a fan of. Blaze, not really a fan. Victor, not really a fan. In terms of getting through this game really well. I just love playing as Axel. He's just an all-round great character, great moves, great jumping attacks, you know, great special attacks. He is just the best character in the game, I believe. So, we're going to go with Axel. Rakushin will explode. Urgent that you come. Location is location is South Pier Warehouse. Location is South Pier Warehouse. Yeah, the story in this game is bullshit. I don't understand it. All right, but I'm just going to let the cutscenes play here. So if you're interested in it, you can see what's going on. Huff, huff, you. We got here just in time. We barely stopped Wood Oak's second tragedy from happening. Whew, that was a close call. If we'd been three seconds later, I shiver just thinking about it. Blaze, can you send a message to Adam? Adam is a character in Streets of Rage 1. There was a Rakushin bomb here just like Zan, the scientist from the Syndicate, told us. Dismantle it carefully. Then start looking for the second one. Alright, so we've got to start defusing bombs. It doesn't look like we have any time to rest. Those punks are coming this way. Here we go. Round 1 start. Now... Immediately, go down, press the attack button, extra life, and there was a gold bar there, so I just got 5,000 points. Okay, I'm just going to take care of these enemies quickly, and then I need to explain how to play this game, because if you... Ah, you fucking bitches, come on. Rastaka! I love that. He only says that in the Japanese version. If you're playing the US version, he says bare knuckle, and it sounds like shit, okay? US version, fuck off. 
Now here we go. Streets of Rage 3, top left, life bar, above that, your name and your score. Uh, just to the right of your life bar, times three, that means how many lives you have. Now more importantly, to the right of your the amount of lives you have is a bar which has OK at the top of that. That is very important to work out what that is and how to use it. That is what's called your strength bar. Now by pressing A, okay, A does your special attack, B, I'm not gonna press A yet, B just does the normal attacks, and C jumps. Now watch what happens when I press the A button to do a special attack. Watch the OK strength bar. It disappears, okay? But also notice I didn't lose any life at all. You will know that in Streets of Rage 2, if you do a special attack, you lose some life when you do your special attack. That is not the case here with Streets of Rage 3. As long as your strength bar is full and it says OK at the top. Now, I'm going to do my special attack and that will deplete my strength bar and I'm going to quickly do another special attack. Watch what happens. OK, it's gone. I'm going to press it again. See how I lost some life? That's because my strength bar was not full. When it's full, when you do a special attack, you do not lose life. However, when it is not full, you lose some life. It's dependent on how much the strength bar has charged up. So if I press the special attack button now, see how I barely lost any life? Whereas if you press it when you've got no strength bar at all, watch, press it again. See, you lose a ton of life. So, in effect, throughout this game, you can do your special attacks if you use them right without losing any life at all, which is absolutely fantastic, and it's pretty much essential in this game uh, for getting through some of the tougher sections. So yeah, that's the strength bar. Um, also, the strength bar, when it's full like that, it means you hit harder and you take less damage from the enemies. Whereas when it's depleted like that, or you've hardly got any strength bar, you take more damage and I think you deal less damage as well. So that, that's another thing about the strength bar there. Now, also very importantly in this game, is you can run by pressing forward, forward, okay, or back, back on the controller. And you can dodge out of the way by pressing up, up, or down, down. So you can move around a lot quicker you can run, you can dodge out of the way, you know, your enemy's line of sight, which is fantastic. This game is so much more refined than Streets of Rage 2. The combat is just awesome. It feels great to play. Um, yeah, when you've mastered it, you know, you feel really good playing this game. Also, when you're running and you press the attack button, that does, you know, Rastaka! Every character's got like a dashing attack. We'll call them blitz attacks, okay? Now you can upgrade this blitz attack by every four, like when you get 40,000 points, a star will appear under your life bar. And this blitz attack will be upgraded. And then when you get another 40,000 points, so 80,000 points, you will get another star under your life bar. And another 40,000 points, you will get another star under your life bar. So you can upgrade your blitz attack three times. So you can get a max of three stars under your life bar, which is fantastic. Fully upgraded blitz attacks are awesome. So this Rasta car, you'll see what it turns into when it's fully upgraded. It's amazing. Very, very useful for beating the enemies throughout the game. Okay, and I think that should be it for now. Let me just double check. I've written down a few things here. Mm. Yep, okay. So that's it for the combat. Let's just get playing a bit now. Oh man, this game is just so satisfying. It's just awesome beating up on enemies. So yeah, pressing forward and the special attack button will do a different special attack. With Axel, he does that nice, like, 10 hit combo or whatever. Very good for taking care of the bosses. Now, I didn't mention this in my Streets of Rage 2 playthrough, but if you get thrown by an enemy... Ooh, 
apple or cherry there for some extra life. When you get thrown by an enemy, you can hold up and the jump button. And ooh, when they grab you from behind like that, press the... Uh, hang on a second. Press the attack and jump button together. Okay. I've mapped it to the R2 button. There we go. I'm playing on a PS3 controller here. So, yeah, but if you press B and C together, attack and jump, basically do your backwards attack like that. When they've grabbed you from behind, you'll sort of do a kick and then throw them, which is really good. Let's grab this bat. Now, the cool thing is in Streets of Rage 3, you can still grab enemies while you have a weapon equipped. Now, weapons, they have a life bar. See below Axel's life bar, the bat has a life bar. When you can, you can only use weapons for limited you know, a limited number of times. And then they, yeah, they just disappear, which sort of sucks, but it's alright, you know. Weapons, I don't really rely on them to get throughout this game anyway, so. And this is where the dashing upwards and downwards comes in handy. You can dodge out of enemy's line of sight, like that. So if they've got a gun like this asshole here, you can dodge out of the bullet's way. Now let's press forward and the special attack button. Awesome, there we go. Note if we were playing the US version here, the difficulty would not only be 10 times harder, but the amount of enemies that would appear is just sickening. There's just too many. Also with the sword, if you press, ah, you can do like a special attack with it. If you press your special attack button, it doesn't deplete your uh, life, it has no bearing on your strength bar when you use weapons, special attacks. Okay, it's only if you just do your own, your own ones, like that. Music is awesome. Okay, there's going to be a lot of guys on motorcycles here, be careful. Get ready to do some fly kicks. Ah! Bastard. to talk about another difference between the Japanese and US version in a minute here, but we're going to come up to a little sub-boss fight. Fucking one of the strangest sub-bosses ever in a game. Awesome at the same time as well. But they got rid of him in the US version. Shit, I'm doing bad at hitting these motorcycle guys. This asshole, there we go. I'm blitzing through this. This is. I, I could eat, probably easily play the US version now. But yeah, if it's your first time playing, I highly recommend that you do not play the US version because it will make you hate this game the way I hated it when I first played it. Okay, we're gonna fight the boss now. Here he comes, look! Listen to this music to go with it. <laughs> Can you see why they got rid of this boss in the US version? I still think they should have kept him. He's really tough though as well. Does a lot of damage if he hits you, so try not to get hit. Now after you defeat him, if you hold the A button down, okay, and wait, just keep holding it down. This boss's name is Ash by the way. Okay, you can let go now, but by doing that, if you die now, and then you press, like if you lose all your lives and then press start to continue, you know, you can choose what character you want to play as. You'll be able to play as Ash, which is awesome. And, yeah, you'll be able to play as Shiva as well, which is the boss of this level coming up pretty much right after these enemies. I'll show you how you can play as Shiva as well. So this game has quite a few nice unlockables, you know, playing as sort of boss and sub-boss characters, which is awesome. Ash is just ridiculous to play as, he's barely got any moves, 
but he's probably, dare I say, the most powerful character in the game. His attacks do so much damage. Also, these enemies I'm fighting, these chicks, in the US version, they're covered up more. So they look like shit in the US version. I don't know, they just really toned down the US version so much, like made it soft. You know what I mean? Like PG rating or something. It's garbage. Ah, fuck. So this is Shiva. Be a bit of pain in the ass. I'm gonna grab that chicken. Chicken! Feel like I'm playing Tekken 3 Force by saying that. Yeah, okay, so just stand back after you knock him away and he'll just keep charging like this. You can just do your Rastaka attack. You go down like shit. He won't hit you at all. Okay, now after you defeat Shiva, hold up and B. Just keep holding it. And by the time we get to the next stage, you can let go. And you will also be able to play as Shiva you die you know and have to continue so there you go you can play as Ash and Shiva now if you die but I am NOT going to die so yep doesn't matter damn it he picked a fight and then ran like a coward come back here you bastard hurry the second Rakushin bomb will explode soon but where is it At Atlas, the disco in the shopping district. Oh yeah, this level. The music on this level... <laughs> it's... Oh no, it's not not up to the disco yet, sorry. But we will shortly after this section. Now coming up for this section, we're going to... Jesus Christ, these motorcycle guys are really causing me trouble. This one's got a lot of health, this green one. Pain in the ass, gotta kick him a few times. There we go. Yeah, coming up towards the end of this part of this level, uh, we're gonna have to fight Ru, or Fifty, the kangaroo, and his trainer. Now you can unlock Ru or Victi. Oh, there you go, I've gotten 40,000 points, so I just noticed that there's a star under my health bar, so I've upgraded my blitz attack now, so watch doesn't really look much different now, it just goes a bit further I think, the first time you upgrade it. So yeah, Axel goes a bit further when you do it. Grab the money bag, that'll give you a thousand points each. Oh, it's just so satisfying playing this game. Now what's annoying is, if you die, like if I lost a life now, and went down to three lives, I would also lose that star under my life bar and I would have to regain 40,000 points again okay from the moment I die to unlock the star again which is pretty annoying okay so here is the trainer for the kangaroo if you want to unlock Roo in the traditional right, traditional way I keep saying Roo but it's Victi for this game if you want to, if you want to unlock the kangaroo the traditional way, instead of using that cheat I showed you at the start of the game, kill the trainer. Okay, don't focus on the kangaroo, it can be a bit annoying. Kill the trainer, this clown fucking thing with a whip, whatever it is. Okay, there you go. So I've just killed him, and Rue will jump off screen like that, and there you go. Once you finish the game now, I believe you can play as Rue. But yeah, if you want to do it the easier way, just hold up and B and press start at the uh, title screen there. Come on. <laughs> so yeah, listen, just listen to this music for a second. Listen to it. It's pretty full on, isn't it? It's out of control. You can also unlock... Super Axle, Super Xan, and Super Skate. It's a bit tricky to unlock them, so... Yeah, I don't really bother. Unlocking them can be a bit of a pain in the ass. I know with Super Axle, it's like you got to rotate the fucking... D 
D-pad in a clockwise motion for it. Nah, it's just it's bullshit basically. Okay. But yeah, if you really want to know how to do that, you can look up how to unlock them. Doing pretty good so far, haven't lost a single life. That could be a challenge. We'll see if we can get through this game without losing a single life. I know I won't be using a continue. There's no way that's going to happen. But I guess that'll be the challenge to get through it without dying. But yeah, it can be a bit tricky in some sections, so we'll see. It's going to be tough. Hold up and jump. See? Didn't take any damage. That's how you avoid taking damage from the throws, okay? When they fucking hate these damn signal guys that keep sliding. They are a pain in the ass. Fucking fuck them. The knife is a garbage weapon in this game. You can only throw it. Fuck. These guys. Now what's interesting is if you play as Zan, when he picks up a weapon, he, he doesn't actually use the weapon. He gets like this different attack where he throws out like a fireball or something. It's so bizarre. I can't really explain it unless you play as him. Thankfully there's a chicken there to pick that up. But yeah, Axel's just pretty much the best character in the game. Unbeatable. Excellent technique. boss coming up after this. You'll get an extra life when you hit 50,000 points, so that's already occurred for me. Then when you get 100,000 points, you'll get another extra life, and then every 100,000 points after that, you know, 200,000, 300,000, 400,000, you get an extra life. So this boss is pretty easy, it's these two chicks. They just jump all over the place. There's a chicken there, so... Not really concerned about. Dying. So they. When you get in their line of sight, they tend to jump towards you. Like that. Oh shit! Oh well, there you go. I've just lost a life, so we can forget about that challenge. And I've also lost my star. Playing like a fucking retard. Okay, let me just focus. Okay, there we go. That's one down. There we go. Easy. A lot easy when I just <laughs> sit here and focus, as I always say. And here we go, some more of the story, I guess. Little note falls down. To find the general, come to the construction site in District K. What's that supposed to mean? We have just received news about General Petrov's abduction. We have obtained information that police officer Axel Stone is part of the criminal organization responsible for the kidnapping. What? While the National Police Agency denies it, our sources tell us that the apprehension of Axel Stone is only a matter of time. There's no time for this now. Let's focus on saving the general. Okay, so yeah. Whatever. We've got to rescue the general. And if you can manage to complete each stage, each stage with a full life bar, you'll get a higher life bonus at the end of each stage. So, because I had a bit of life taken away, I didn't get the full bullshit. You crazy son of a bitch. There's an extra life here. Should be. There it is, down there. Four lives again. God. Careful of these barrels. 
can hit them. And they'll hit the enemy. Enemies. So I'll show you. See, so you can send it flying towards enemies. Not too useful, but yeah, whatever. If you want, you can use it. So it's kind of annoying now that I died. I'm going to have to regain another 40,000 points to get the star back. So that sort of sucks. Okay. Don't you dare try and slide. Attack me. These enemies here with the bent with the uh, uh, bandanas on top of their heads. They're quite annoying because they, they tend to grab you a lot. There should be a chicken here. Grab that and quickly go. Knife. Chicken. Chicken? That's a big bloody chicken. Look at that. Ouch. Yeah, just knock them off the edge here. It's a lot easier. Just stay down here. And they'll come down, hopefully, and then just yeah, hit them into the pits. Very easy. Two more should appear. And then grab that chicken. Just okay. There we go. And this is cool. I like this part. So you've got to make sure you break these walls here. Just run to the left. Keep attacking the walls. You've got to keep going. When this bulldozer thing gets too close to you, turn around and fucking Jesus, punch it, otherwise it'll hit you like that. In the US version, this bulldozer is a lot more aggressive. It's unbelievable. Here it's pretty easy, okay? As soon as you hit it, it sort of backs off a bit. Fairly simple. The first time I played though, I had no idea that you could actually hit that bulldozer, so I just kept getting hit over and over again like a like an idiot. Last wall to hit, to break, and then go free. I'm just gonna be safe. Alright, here we go. This is the final part of this stage. After this section, then we fight the boss, which is like Super Axel. Almost. I don't think they call him that though. So this is pretty easy, this part. We're going on this lift. Just throw the enemies off the edge. Unless you get surrounded or whatever. Fuck! Yeah, just be careful because they can knock you off. You won't die. Ooh, I've got my star back, grab the chicken so I can keep it. You won't die if the enemies knock you off the edge. You'll just come back with a significant amount of your life reduced. So it's, it's pretty good that you don't lose a, a life. But yeah, you do lose a fucking... This guy with a pole. Take care of him quickly. that pole. You've got to be careful in Streets of Rage 3 here because the enemies do pick up the weapons and they pick up the health items as well, which is bullshit. Okay, there's been countless times where I've left a chicken there strategically, you know, thinking oh, I'll just get it when I'm on lower health and some asshole enemy picks it up and, and eats it. You know what I mean? So... Just got to be wary of that in this game. It's it's interesting that they've done that. Makes it a little bit more challenging, but yeah, it can piss you off sometimes. God, I hate these enemies. They block so much. Fuck! Damn it! There we go. This guy with the knife! I hate him! I don't want to die, because I know just before the boss fight, there's a chicken. Yeah, got to get that chicken, got to keep my star. Yes, I think I've done it. Now I just have to defeat him. And with a full life bar. 
Okay, what do they call him? Break. Don't even try grabbing this guy, you can't. Alright. He'll jump when you're in his line of sight. Just dodge out of the... Fuck! Try and dodge out of the way then. Or just like... Keep a distance then attack like that. Come on, jump. <laughs> Look how fast he... Fast he walked back. What kind of shit is that? Look at that! Okay, God, just be careful. It's close. Alright, he's almost dead. I can probably just go ahead and use my special attacks now without caring. Ah, there we go. That was easy. Piss weak ass boss. Took care of him. Didn't get the full life bonus because I wasn't on a full life bar, but eh, whatever. A robot. Hmm. Hey old man, I think you're still working for them. The general isn't anywhere in sight. And there was no bomb in the disco either. I knew we shouldn't have trusted a syndicate scientist. Is that so? Think about what you're saying. Zan's put his own life in jeopardy by betraying the syndicate. Now he's relying on us, that's... Enough bickering, look down here instead. Seems those punks are looking for a fight. Okay, round four. Ah, this level. It's a bitch. It's an absolute bitch. We've got these train tracks here, okay, and these sort of... I don't know what it is. They keep going across. When the tracks shake, get out of that track's line of sight, okay? Because that thing will hit you. It's, it's quite good. It hits the enemies, so it takes care of quite a few of the enemies for you. Which is nice, but yeah, when it hits you, very annoying. If you find yourself stuck and unable to move, do this, I'll show you. Okay? You won't get hit. At worst, you'll lose a bit of life, but it's not as much life as you would getting hit by that thing. Okay, dodge out of the way, hit the enemy, nice, thank you. Oh, nice, I've got two stars under my life bar now. Watch my blitz attack, look. See how he spins around a bit? And he sort of moves up and down a bit, so if enemies are up or, or below, it'll hit them as well. Now, when you've upgraded that fully to three stars, he goes up and down even further. So, in effect, he almost hits every enemy on the screen, okay? It's awesome. This stage has a cool boss fight. One of my favourites in the game. Awesome music for this boss fight. Samurai. Boss. <laughs> I love it when the enemies get hit by that thing. Okay, there we go. Bottom track. Oh, bang, three knife guys, gonna pick up a knife. Fuck, that's bullshit, how did it not get him? hard to tell sometimes, doesn't shake too vibrantly. Okay, that's definitely the top track. Good. There's a chicken there. I'm just gonna take a risk and leave it and hope that the enemies don't eat it.
Fuck. All right, I'm gonna grab that chicken. Shit, I need the chicken now. Don't want to lose a star. Good. Ooh, just, just dodged it. I was lucky I was doing that special attack. All right, there we go. The second half of the stage. Oh, this is even more annoying. These damn ninjas. You remember them from Streets of Rage 2? Now, when that comes, just move up into one of the crevices. And you'll dodge it. There's a cherry there. I'm going to leave that. Apple, whatever. Oh, fuck. They're pretty good at dodging the this little minecart thing that goes past, whatever it is, okay? On the tracks, the ninjas, they just sort of jump up and hang onto the walls. Ah! See? Okay, it's alright, there should be a chicken ahead, I've just got to get through these guys. Oh, he's got a sword. The ones with the swords are very aggressive. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it! <sighs> Fuck. Now I have to get... Oh, man, I'm doing really, really bad here. Hang on. Okay, so remember, you can just do a spit... Look at that! Fuck! I hate this part with a passion! I need that damn chicken. Ah, oh, thank god. Yeah, so just keep using that special attack with the sword. It doesn't deplete. bar or your life bar, whatever, it has no bearing on that, with the weapon. A lot of focus is required for this part, there's such a, these ninjas are a pain in the ass. I can't even begin to tell you how annoying this part is on the US version, because I have, tr I actually did try and play the US version a while back and I think I made it up to this level or the next one, I'm not sure, but it was just too frustrating. Way too frustrating. That one's got a sword. Ah! Uh, got stuck on a twig, I couldn't get in there. I wasn't like perfectly aligned. Alright. Please tell me that's it. No more. Thank God. Alright, here we go. The boss. Awesome boss fight. Awesome music. So there's three of these samurai guys we have to take care of. I'm going to need to get that chicken straight away. So this is the first samurai, Yamoto. Fuck! Yeah, once you get in their line of sight, they tend to jump or charge you. Then when they're finished with that, then you can... Bad here, I'm gonna lose another life. Okay, this one's almost dead. Yes, okay, two more to go. Bullshit! <laughs> you can grab these guys, so don't feel. 
Yeah, don't worry about getting close to them, you should be able to grab them. Alright, doing pretty good. he was going to jump to the other side, that's why I ran. Yes, one more to go. This one's probably the toughest. Man, you really get pumped with this music track. Fuck! You can actually punch those shurikens. <gasps> oh! ah! I pressed the special attack button, didn't do anything. Fuck, he got me before. <sighs> ah! Anyway, there we go. Oh, that sucks. No stars under my life bar. My blitz attack has just gone back to the bare bones one. Garbage one. Sucks. But I should... I think for this stage... Should be able to rack up a significant amount of points. Zan, you know why they took the general, don't you? How are they planning to use him to bring harm to Wood Oak City? I don't know anything for certain. Is that really the truth? Can you imagine another beam of light engulfing Wood Oak City? A terrible radioactive beam. One which will cause the deaths of untold thousands of people. Well, is that the sort of truth you would prefer to hear? Well then, it's a war they want. They are trying to start a war between the Lima nations so that they can supply them with Rakushin. Therefore, the General's opposition to the war made him an obstacle. Bloody hell. I can't follow this shit. Do games like this really need such a... convoluted story? Like, look at Double Dragon. They just beat up your girlfriend, stole, like, took her away, and then that's, that's the game. You're just trying to save her. That's all you need. Don't need any of this shit. Rakushin and Lima Nations and fucking whatever. Okay, so there's three sort of secret routes you can take here. I'm gonna go the top route because. Yeah, so you just punch the wall there to get here. Get a lot of gold bars and I need the points, because gold bars give you 5,000 points each, so I need the points so I can, I can rack up and uh, get my blitz attack upgraded. There's also a chicken, so I've just got to make it to that as well. There is just the downside to this area is there's a lot of enemies in this, this secret path, okay, the one up. Now, those guys are really annoying, they block a lot jump. Fucking, are you telling me I'm not even going to get to that damn chicken? Where is it? There it is. Give me that. There we go. I got a... S no, no, I thought that was going to be a bar. There's another chicken. Damn. Is it one up? Grab that. So as you can see, there's a lot of stuff here to get. But it's good. I've at least got one star under my life bar, so I've upgraded my blitz attack. Good, just got to get it upgraded another time, and then one more after that. I'm hoping I should be able to. Yeah, 
these guys just love jumping when they're at a distance from you. They love jumping, jump kicking, and blocking. That's their two favorite things. Okay, we've got a tough one here. Fuck. Look at that, they just blocked the whole damn thing. What is that? Okay, just one more to go. There we go. Love the music for this part. Love the look of it as well. Really vibrant, nice colours. Rastaka! Also, I haven't even mentioned this yet, but there is. If you hold down the attack button. Hang on a second, I'll just clear these enemies first. Damn, there are so many enemies. Oh, yes, upgrade the beautiful. One more star, come on. Okay, if you press and hold the attack button, then release it like a second or two later, you'll do Axel's two hit kick combo. That's a knockdown move, okay? Every character has that. I've mapped it to the R1 button so I can just do it like so repeatedly. Don't have to hold down the attack button or any bullshit. comes in handy if you just want to like get rid of some enemies, you know, if there's like too many on screen at once to take care of. Fuck these enemies, I hate them. Thankfully there's a chicken there. Yeah, I'm not going to get the chicken yet, there's still another wave of enemies. Sliding dudes, yep, here we go. And more of those assholes. Fuck. Look at the blocking on that shit. Seem vulnerable to that jumping downward knee. Just keep getting getting them with that as soon as they get up. Seems to be a good strategy. Okay, just hit 300,000 points, so I've got an extra life. Oh, this part's a bit of a bitch. I'm just gonna have to leave that chicken there because I'm gonna need it later. There's a lot of enemies in this lift section. It's good if you can just try and get them to one corner, then you can just focus them, you know, just attack them all here. Don't you dare jump at me, you bastard. So this is a metal bat, it's got a bit more health than the regular wooden bat. So I should be able to use this for a fair bit. Fucking knife fuckers, hate them. Don't you dare pick up that knife again. <laughs> ah! <gasps> Almost got me. Very tempting to get that chicken, but I'm just gonna hold off.
Because <laughs> coming up after this lift section is the boss for this stage. And I need... Well, I can usually get through this boss. It's possible to do it without getting hit. It's possible to do any of them, I guess, without getting hit if you're a god, but yeah. For me, I can usually get through this guy without taking any or just a little bit of damage. It's not too hard. If you remember the final boss in Streets of Rage 2, well, yep. Look, there he is. Mr. X. My, you got here quickly, Axel. Welcome, gentlemen and lady. <laughs> I'd intended to flesh out my plans before you arrived, but no matter. Have you found my efforts entertaining so far? Enough boasting. What have you done with General Petrov? Ah, that matter. You needn't be concerned about it. I've already done you the favour of releasing him. But of course, that was our counterfeit general. Oh my god. You son of a... This story's a mess. My, my, please calm yourself. I didn't say that I disposed of him now, did I? However, whether you'll see him again or not depends on you. Alright. Ooh, I thought that guy was going to go for the chicken. Son of a bitch. I'm just going to grab it. I'm a bit scared now. Just a few little waves of enemies before you take care of him. So just make sure you kill all these guys. Oh, it's... Yeah, these guys love grabbing you. These enemies. Pretty annoying. When they grab you from the front, you got to do like a special attack to get out of it. Ooh, fully upgraded blitz. Look. Look at that. Look at... See how he spins around significantly? And does an uppercut at the end? Extremely damaging move. Try and keep it if you get it. But yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to. Since I've got to fight this asshole after these enemies. Okay, two chicks. Oh my god, two more. I thought there was only two of them. Fuck. Ah, come on. Okay, here we go. Come on, let's go. Watch him. Turns into a fucking robot. Okay, now. Jump, knee, 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 throw. Run, 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 jump, knee, 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 throw. That is it. That is how you take care of that guy without taking any damage. He's a piece of piss. So I'm very happy with that because I've now got three stars under my life bar. Fully upgraded blitz attack. Just got to keep it. That's the key thing here. Got to make sure to keep it. Not lose any more lives. Ha ha ha, Dr. Zan, I have splendid news for you. I've arranged for your research results to be implemented shortly. It is, however, a shame that you won't live to see it. That's because you will perish from poison gas with the general. Ha 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 If we destroy the two barrier control units in the rooms there, here, sorry, we should be able to rescue the general. Let's go. Yep, so second last stage of the game, stage six. Fairly short stage. We've got a time limit here. See that number on that pole there, 59? So that's our time limit to save the general. So if you want the good ending, you've got to save him. And I'm going to do it. If by some unfortunate series of events I don't, that'll be... Fuck. Gee, this... These enemies suck. They fucking suck. Oh, fuck. Look at the time limit already. 
of these. Okay. Run immediately to the left. I'm going to show you the shortest route. Punch that to go down. Immediately run to the right. There's going to be two guys with the guns to take care of here. Take care of them. Once you take care of them, a door, the doors will open above. And you'll be able to go in them. We are going to go in the second one here. Now we can't, where we need to go is to the right, but those barriers there are blocking the way. So we have to destroy these control terminals in these rooms, more specifically this room and one other room. So there's the control panel to the right, just punch the shit out of it. Quite annoying when you've got enemies on your ass, but that's what we've got to do here. Don't worry, because there should be a cherry, an apple life uh, item after this. Okay, keep punching that thing. Missed it completely. Fucking terrible. Switch is called. That does a lot of damage. Okay, there we go. Now I can just focus on the enemies. Let's go. Is that it? Yep, okay, so we go back out and punch that. There'll be an apple or a cherry, whatever it is. dead, immediately run to the left, fuck we got 30, 30, 31, whatever it was, go down, immediately run to the right, so we got to do it again for one more room down here, that's the room in the middle, okay, so we got two of these guys to take care of, they're a bit more annoying than the guys with the guns, fuck, okay, one down, Okay, come on, come on, come on, go, go, go. 19, fuck. I don't know if I'm gonna do it. <laughs> That's a good strategy, keep throwing those enemies into them. There we go, it's done. Now I just gotta focus on these guys. Come on. Fuck! Okay, two more. There we go, come on. Come on! It's on 18 now. Cherry there. One down. Oh no. Come on. Knee. Good. Now run. We're gonna run back to the lift and we're gonna go up. Okay, I think we got it. And we're just going to keep running all the way to the right. Make sure you hit these on the way to get some life. Dodge out of the bullets. Because you're going to need that life for the boss. So there's the first force field. And there we go. There's the general. Are you really General Petrov? All things considered, you look well, Ivan. Oh, Gilbert, I'm afraid I'm in a most unrepresentable, unpresentable condition. Hey, you know each other, and you said Gilbert. Didn't you know this is the man who discovered Rakushin? We became close friends during our days in the military. His research was never intended to be used in this way. That's enough talking. Let's get out of this place. There's a secret elevator here that we can use. Alright, stage 6 boss. Jet. You'll recognise him from Streets of Rage 2. Looks a bit different here though. 
He's got his rocket buddies with him, which causes a bit of problems. This is probably... I'd say this is probably the hardest boss fight in the game, just because Jet is unpredictable. He's got rocket buddies with him. At least there's a chicken there, which I need right now, actually. Music is real funky here. I love it. Okay, okay. They just keep coming back, his rocket buddies, so don't think that by killing them, you know, they're gonna make... they're gonna jump like this. Look at my health! What the fuck?! Perfect. Fuck. <laughs> yes, got him. Still got two stars for my blitz attacks. Good, good, good. And we're up to the final stage now, so we should be able to get the best ending as long as I can do one more thing required to get the best ending in the next stage, but I'll talk about that later. Yo, so that's Adam there from Streets of Rage 1. Adam! You can play as him yeah, in Streets of Rage 1. I think maybe I got a little carried away. I figured I'd been on the sidelines long enough. Alright, so there we go. An extra life, just got 400,000 points. Adam, have you found the Syndicate's hidden base? We've detected Rakushin emissions in the Green Leaf District. There's an old factory there that went under a number of years ago. I see. Please protect the General and apprehend the imposter. Roger that, I'll leave the rest up to you. Just remember, I'll never forgive you if you don't come back alive. Yeah. Alright, so final stage of the game. This initial opening section is very annoying. I like this foresty sort of area. I hate it. Be careful not to step on those round things on the ground because a tree... It's like a trap that will take you up and cause a bit of damage. Very annoying. Grab the... Sword. Fuck. There we go. Nope, some more. God, I hate these motorcycle guys. Fucking, and it's. Got a damn ninja there, as well, like, come on, game. Yeah, this is just fucking terrible. Okay, fine, there should be an extra... There should be some life up ahead, I just gotta get through these guys. Damn, he's got a sword. Mustn't let him keep that. Yep. Cherry. Grab it. Ooh. Hear that little sound? Just got an another star under my life bar. Fully upgraded blitz attacks. If I can keep that for the remainder of the game, that would be amazing. But it's not really necessary now. The final boss is a joke. I'll show you how to take care of him with like zero stress. It's pathetic. <laughs> Just ninjas jumping all over the place, fucking robots hopping about. I can't even 
There's there's too many things for my like brain to process, like what's going on. Okay, there we go. Second section of the stage. Chicken. Yeah, might as well. I think for this part you just gotta punch these dudes that come flying. Come on. Is that it? Alright. Yeah, this part's a bit annoying because we've got these... See the floor to the right there? It keeps moving to the left. I think it changes as well. It can end up going right and really just fucks up your momentum. I try not to go on it when I fight the enemies, but I think I'm not going to have much of a choice. Die, you stupid robots. Careful of that, that little drip thing there will damage you. It's good if you can get the enemies in it. Bullshit. Hit him. Yes, got one. Ooh, I thought I was going to get hit there for a second. Come on. Cherry, give me that. Get out. <laughs> Finding that the sound effects are becoming a bit limited here. It's mostly just the music. It's like the game can't keep up with all the shit going on. There we go. A bit of punching sounds. Beautiful. Eh, yeah, look how slow I run. <laughs> he keeps getting hit by that thing. Ah, oh, jeez, okay. So now we're going right. Rocket dude. There should be a chicken, yes. Fuck. I need that damn chicken like now. There we go. Okay. Fuck. Alright, we're coming up to the end now. Almost the final boss. Well, actually, for this stage, we have a sub boss and then the final boss. The sub boss is extremely easy, and you should be able to take. Yeah, here we go. No damage at all on this sub boss. Doctor something is called, let's see, I forget. Basically it just moves this claw around, just hold down, move out of the way, hit it, Doctor Zero. And this is some real funky music, I love it. It's just so fucking bizarre, it's awesome. Very easy, this is all you do. When it attacks, move out of the way, attack it. Now when this happens, um, just stay to the right here. It'll come down. Do not attack it now, because you'll get electrocuted. See how it's got that green sort of shit on it? Wait till that disappears, and then attack it. Otherwise you'll get electrocuted. You'll also be electrocuted up ahead there by those green lasers. So watch out. Go. Simple. And now the final boss. We have a time limit to take care of this guy. Welcome again, gentlemen and lady. 
I've been awaiting your arrival. Unfortunately, because of you, I'm now disembodied. Please pardon my unpleasant appearance. Who translated this shit? Mr. X, your schemes end here. Ha ha ha, I'm afraid you're too late. My robots have seeded the Lima nations with Rakushin bombs. Surely you understand what that means, don't you? If I detonate them, full-scale war is unavoidable. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> the Rakushin will explode in three minutes. If we destroy his support systems, the countdown will stop. Okay, so three minutes. Haha, <laughs> how can you entertain such an absurd fantasy? Easiest boss in the game. Watch. Well, the one we just had before, the sub-boss, was pretty easy, but this is... For a final boss, I mean, it's a fucking... it's a description. Oh, okay, I fucked up my momentum there, sorry. My fault. Look at this! Is this what you'd expect to do for a final boss in a video game? gonna have two minutes left. Just about. And there we go. That will do it. And we have now completed the best ending. Completed the game and got the best ending. So if you defeat him under the time limit, you'll get the best ending. If you don't, you'll get a different ending. And there's some other criteria to get the other endings of the game. The other two endings. L losing consciousness. Phew, we made it just in time. Beep, blip, beep, you won't escape alive. Everyone, get out of here. This base is going to blow up. It's no use, Axel. None of the doors will open. Blaze, check the computer terminal over there. See if you can unlock the doors. Understood, I'll give it my all. It's useless. The security protocols are too strong. Ah, we're running out of time. Quit whining, Sammy. The phony general is already in custody. Way to go, big bro. And there you have it, gentlemen and lady, as the game would say. That's it. Oh, here we go. The Rakushin Calamity, born of both wisdom and ignorance, has come to an end. The bustle of daily life has wiped the event from everyone's minds. Is that it? Wow, that's it. Okay, so there you go, guys. That is my playthrough of Streets of Rage 3 on the Sega Genesis slash Sega Mega Drive. The Japanese version, but translated into English. Japanese version is superior, is superior like I mentioned before. And, yeah, like, I really, really like this game. Like I said at the start, this is my favourite Streets of Rage game in the series. I think, personally, I think it's better than Streets of Rage 2. Now, I know people are going to go fucking batshit crazy when they hear that, you know. No, Streets of Rage 2 is the best. It's got the best music. It's awesome. It's the best. But I'm telling you, this one, the combat is so refined. It's It feels so good to play and beat enemies up. It's... I would say, honestly, that the Streets of Rage games are the best sort of 2D side-scrolling beat-em-ups ever. It's got to be the best series of beat-em-ups ever made, you know. Final Fight, I couldn't really get into that. I didn't like it. But, man, the Streets of Rage games are just awesome. And what a way to finish off the series with Streets of Rage 3. 
absolutely fantastic. I love it. I highly recommend it. There are so many different ways you can get this game. You know, I've got it for my Xbox 360 slash Xbox One. It's called the Sega Vintage Collection. You get all three Streets of Rage games in one pack. And I was lucky enough to pick it up for free. They had it on, if you're a gold, you know, if you have a gold membership, sometimes they give you the free games. And that was one of the free ones. So that was a very good pickup. I'm happy having that in my possession. But that is it guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much gentlemen and lady for watching this walkthrough. Great game, check it out and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.